So in this video, we're going to be talking about shaders, materials, textures, and how they all relate to each other, but not as specific as to making a golf course or the OPCD tools. This is more general and more broad. This is actually a video that I created about a year ago that was for the first V3 tools. That still makes sense because it's broad enough just to talk about what a shader is, what materials are, and textures, and all the theory and how they relate to each other. And then subsequently after this, I'll have another video that explains the OPCD shaders and what is unique about those and what they bring into Unity and how they help us make great golf courses. So what is the relationship between shaders, materials, and texture? So think about shaders as a, a way that we manipulate how a material appears in game. I know you're like, okay, well, I don't even know what a shader or material is. How do I do this? Well. I'm going to explain to you kind of like this scenario and this real life situation. So, and then also materials ultimately use texture. So just remember that shaders use materials, shaders manipulate materials and materials use textures. Okay. So it's this kind of hierarchy. Um, think of, in order to explain this, let me think of a relationship between a photographer and a model. Okay. What a photographer does is really they, a good photographer, they manipulate light, okay? You can have all kinds of different light. You can have flat light, bright light, natural light, artificial light, and you can combine those all together to get a very specific look or a mood, right? Dark for depressing, bright for happy, or all, everything in between. And then on the other hand, you have a model that might be wearing clothes and makeup to get her or him, her their specific look, okay? Um, Working together, the outcome is a photo with a very specific feel and mood, okay? And ultimately, what I'm trying to explain here is the photographer in this case is the shader, okay? They're the one that is manipulating the light, okay, to get a specific look. And the model is the game object. And the model is wearing clothing, or you can even say the makeup is a material, right? But the model is wearing that clothing, which is the material. And the material properties, like... Um, the color of it is is a texture. The you know how tight it is, or how wavy it is, or how rough or smooth it is. Those are all textures. So a material has all these properties, which are textures. So now you can see that relationship um, between photographer and model, and now you can maybe get start getting an idea of the relationship between shaders, materials, and textures. So let me give you another example here and to look at is I want you to look at this photo. And just think about it for a second and like, what do you see? Well, you see definitely a lot of shadows, right? Some hard, what I would consider hard shadows, some clear lines, you know, that shadow coming off of her nose, um, down her, her lips are kind of um, very, that things are very bright. Everything's kind of washed out on this side, right? I got some hard shadows on her clothing. It's hard to get an idea of like, here I can see a little bit of the texture of the clothing, but this is a very bright photo. And now let me put another photo next to it and just look at the difference. And you see the difference between hard and soft lighting, okay? And the difference between these two photographs is ultimately the what we consider the shader, okay? On, on how that light is manipulated. On the photo on the left here, the original one I showed you, you can definitely see like some, I would say like the the, the texture of her skin, how like it's bumpy and she's got good skin, but ultimately if she had some acne or something, it would, even now you can kind of see her pores a little bit more here where the one on the right, you don't. So depending on the look you're going for, um, you know, these photos are very different and the photographer manipulated the light might've been through Photoshop or some other means to get two different outcomes here. One is a very harsh photo. I would say in the one on the left, she actually looks even angry. And the one on the right, she looks a little more calm and subdued. So just be, because of the, the way that light is manipulated, it, it changed things. So ultimately, what are shaders? In Unity, shaders are programs or they're scripts that uh, ultimately control how light is manipulated, okay? How materials are manipulated. They control how those materials appear inside of Unity. There are all, all kinds of different shaders um, and you're gonna see those inside of Unity. Like, so some of these uh, uh, properties are, you can set a material that, uh, or a shader that allows you to see through an object and gives it transparency. So it's not just how it appears, it's whether it appears or not, okay? You have other materials that we call, uh, that control reflections, and there's things called cube maps. 
Um, so if, if material, it can actually have a material reflect its surroundings, okay? And then there's other things with color manipulation, like what we call metallic. So um, how things look like uh, if it is like more metallic looking, um, how shiny it is. And then you have smoothness as well. So, you know, something that's very smooth and very metallic would be like a pinball, like in a pinball machine. That is like ultimately very metallic and very smooth. But the other end of that, something is very non-metallic and less smooth that's something very very rough like i'm looking down at my clothing my t-shirt that i have on is not metallic and it's not smooth at all right um so it really diffuses the light so that's what shaders control it allows you to control what properties that you can use to manipulate materials so what are materials and textures then so a material really is nothing more than a sequence of colors that get mapped to a game object in a game object, you can consider that like the clothing of the object, and it's 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 like the clothing on the model. It's the color of the clothing, the texture, the the, the, the roughness of the clothing, how wavy it is, right? Um, and textures themselves define the various properties of a material, and the material controls what you can manipulate with those textures. So, for example, we have a, a one property a texture called albedo or diffuse, which is ultimately that's the base color, right? For example, plaid. All right, is a base color. It's multiple colors. It's just not, it doesn't have to be one color. It's just not purple. It could be multiple colors like plaid as, or crisscrosses, all right? That can be your albedo and your diffuse. And then we have another thing. These are just examples. There are a lot more than what I'm showing you here, but another one is called normal, which is um, how we can use shadow tricks to make a, a, a texture or a material look like it has cracks or crevices or it's wavy for example grains of wood to would typically have cracks in them and we can use a normal texture to to make it look like it's got those cracks and things and then when i talked about this we have these other textures you can have a metallic texture you can have smooth this and you can manipulate those as well make something more metallic more smooth so ultimately all these textures get fed into the material and the material gets ultimately manipulated by a shader